Hello everyone, it's Dina, aka Getty Girl, and I am going to try this again. This is recording take three. Third time's a charm, right? <laughs> the last one, I thought it went really well, and I went to download it, and I only got the last two minutes of it. So, I don't even, I don't even know how long it took me. <laughs> so we'll try again. Anywho... I wanted to bring to you a uh, project share. This is a guest design team project. Uh, this is a Lorna Taylor digi kit with tailor made journals and the kit that I chose was Winter's Magic. And what I decided to do was a lap folder or lap book folder. And I think lap books are something that I got from Nick the Booksmith and I, she believe, I believe, well I know I know, um, that she used hard books. And I'm actually doing something similar with my um, mermaid journal. So anyways, I wanted to do it in a folder uh, format because what I am doing is, is I'm basically doing my year in a review. So I plan to do this every January. And this one might be a little thicker because this year or this past December, I didn't do a December daily. Life kind of got in the way and I didn't get it done. And I was a little disappointed in myself, just a little. Um, because I had done it three years prior. But, oh well, we just move forward, right? Anyways, um, so yeah, I, I'm i going to do this every January. And it's going to be the year in a review. And I call this one Synopsis 2021. Excuse the error here. I was trying to get fancy with some of my letters and it didn't work out. But I'm not changing it. I'm going to leave it. Um, I still have my scrapbook. My very first scrapbook and I actually I look at it the pictures are the most important but it kind of just um, shows me how much I progressed and so that's what I'm gonna do I haven't taken any creative lettering classes or any of that so come on what do I expect for myself anyways um, so I'm gonna do this along so I'm planning on doing my one little word and I'm doing I'm gonna do December daily um, this year and I'm gonna do this year in review year in review in January. Um, so that's my goal. So I'll go ahead and get started with the project. Um, just a few things. As far as Winter's Magic Digital Kit, there's a lot of elements in there. You won't be disappointed at all. Um, there was just a ton. I just kept printing and printing and I, you know, not really sure what I was going to use in this lap book folder. Um, I just wanted to print some things and just move forward with it and just have fun with it. And that's what I did. So um, I altered a few things. I tinted some of the digi um, digitals. Not a lot. Um, like I said, the, the kit's fabulous. I didn't want to alter it too much. And then I was introduced to Canva, which I've never heard of before. But Allie Edwards and her one little word, I saw it in there and decided to play with it a little bit. And I am impressed. I can't believe I've gotten this long without it. Um, so where Lorna would have a two page spread for a junk journal, I basically cut it in half and made it into an eight and a half by 11 portrait, um, size image. So I did do some of those in here and let's see, I worked with, um, Stampers Anonymous, um, the stencil blossom and polka dot set. I think you remember, or maybe he still does it. I don't, I don't know, but I know that there was like a huge um, grouping of stamps and stencils that came together and I was able to find most of them and this is one of the ones I absolutely love and um, this is called the stencil blossom and polka dot and I just love all the little phrases on here so I use that through my um, my lap book and I use some of his bits and bobs and I also pulled from my embellishments um, from my stash and what else did I use? Glitter and what I decorated my folder with before I even began, I used Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist. I don't even know if that is trending. I have it and I wanted to use it and I love how it turned out. And then I also used Tim Holtz Distress um, Spray Stain Tea Dye. So um, you'll see some of that stuff through here. And so I'll go ahead and begin. Um, I use Seam Binding. I bought this off an Etsy um, shop a while ago. Um, one, of the, one of the things I do like to do is I like to support um, handmade artists. So, yeah. So that's what I'm gonna use for my closure. And I had to use a closure because this would be flapping back and forth. 
And when I do this, I'm hoping that I can at least stick maybe five or six of these in a mag magazine holder that I'm probably going to alter um, later. But I hope to do five or six of them in there. And then, um, and then it'll be kind of fun to kind of go through and, and, and see what that year basically entailed or consisted of. And um, yeah, I don't think I'm going to, um, this one's not going to be in chronological order. I decided that already. I'm just going to throw things in there with dates and... Um, yeah, I'm going to try to challenge my OCD by not doing that. So that's my goal. And here it is, you guys. This is my little folder. And what I did was I basically, I took two, fold, can't even talk, two file folders. And I went ahead and sprayed it with, um, with the Tattered Angels. Kind of like a teal and I think a little bit, well, you can see the colors here. I this video is a little tinted for some reason it's in blue tones I'm not sure why so hopefully when you guys see this video I'll be able to edit it and um, and get it the way it should be so you can actually see what it's work you know what it actually looks like and um, I tried filming this in the daytime and nighttime and I'm still getting the same effect so I'm not sure what's going on and then this is another stencil Tim Holtz um, stencil that I use I just kind of use you know just kind of did it all over the place and you can see some of the gold in here from the um, the um, Glimmer Mist. So, so I did the folders and distressed everything all through the book is distressed on the edges um, with archival ink and then Rangers ar archival ink. And yeah, so here it is. Um, I have this little charm here. This is basically a charm base, a pendant base, and there's nothing in it. And I basically punched out um, one of the digis it was it's an owl and then I glued it down and then did some glossy accents and then put the little bevel glass on top of it so that is my charm right here okay and then I use some Tim Holtz um, embellishments so it's a little um, chain dangle I didn't want to do a lot I don't I don't want to I don't want to put a lot of embellishments in here because like I said I, I want to try to get five or six folders in one magazine um, container so we'll just see how that goes I I still may add some stuff I didn't do any journaling in here I want to save that for last because that stuff is private so I basically just wanted to give you guys the base of all of this okay moving on um, so a, a lot of this kit was basically kind of monochromatic with the blues blue hues and you know just kind of a wintry magic is what's going on you'll see that there's some um, animals and, and things like that and and that's where the color is kind of brought and snowy blizzard it's beautiful it's a beautiful kit I'll leave her information in the comments or in yeah I'll link her information below so that way if you guys want to go take a look at the kit you're not going to be disappointed like I said there's a lot of elements in it I don't even think I touched maybe a quarter of it I believe so um anyways I I decided to use one of the um, glass frames. It's not really glass, it's plastic, but it's acrylic frame just to kind of highlight the owl. I love owls and just wanted to do that. And not to mention it's the front of my cover. And then I used a stamp saying, Be Your Beautiful Self. And then I used some um, Wink Estella in here. You can't really see that on camera. Um, I'm not going to zoom in only because last time I did that, I didn't record the whole thing. So I'm not going to take that chance because I really want to get this out to you guys. And then um, this is one of the smaller journal car journal cards and just use uh, a little clippy here. It's a Tim Holtz clippy. I don't know what they're called. And then I made this into a pocket on the front. And this is one of the ones that I, I actually altered. I, I did like a, a tent on it. I love her. She's beautiful, Lorna. And um, I love the Papa Red throughout. Okay, so lots and lots of um, places for me to journal. I just used my little mini stapler and just stapled some sheer ribbon on there. Again, just trying to use from my stash. And opens up this way. And this is packaging that I upcycled. I got it from like a tonic dye and just recovered it with her kit and then made it into a window. And lovely tag with a um, eyelet. Okay. And then I used broken jewelry through here. Um, like again, again, I was trying to be really scarce about using a lot of embellishments because I don't want to thicken this up too much. And then I took 
um, some of her circle embellishments and just made it into a tab. And she's got some mason jars in there. God, I love those berries. And on this side, I started out with copy paper. I didn't want to um, get rid of it, so I decided to make it into a pocket. And so I've got some elements in there. And this is a smaller version of the um, of the mason jar. I think it's the same image. Nope, it's not. So we've got the bird in this one and then berries in this one. So that's fun. And then I just made a paper clip. And then here, I will take some of these out um, and show you some tags. Calendar. And my printer was having issues. I think I need to clean the rollers, but you know what? I thought, you know what? It's kind of a distressed look. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna roll with it. If anything, it gives me lines so I can use for writing. And then in her kit had had some pockets in there and they had corresponding um, journal cards. I love the owl so much. I need to find an owl book. I think there's probably like a birds of prey or something like that. And then here's some more. This journal card corresponds with this. And let's see what else. I made another little pocket with some leftover um, papers and then I used that stamp set. And in her kit, she had some um, one, I think one by three blocks of blue. And I basically stamped the sentiments twice on there and just cut it in half. And then I've got Collect Beautiful Moments with, um, with Brave Wings, She Flies. And kind of just reminded me of the gal that's in this kit. I kind of call her as Ice Princess. And then um, today is full of possible, always take the scenic route. So I thought those were pretty cool as far as coordinating with this whole kit. Stuff that in there. Da -da -da -da. All right. And then, oh, I forgot to talk to you about this. So this was a happy accident. Um, so basically what happened was, is when I went to go put this, I don't even know what these call. I want to call it a grommet. I went to put that in there and I put it a little too close to the edge. So when I was going to embed that in there, um, the hole wasn't quite big enough and I ripped the top of my file folder. So we do what we crafters do. We just find a fix for it and then we just move on. So I used one of her little one by three blocks, cut it down and then just basically made a tab out of it. And with the stamp set, you'll see that it's just one long sentiment. So all I did with that is I basically um, uh, masked off the words I, you know, that I'm not using and just do one line at a time. And then when I did that and I put my little grommet in there and I don't know, I, I don't know if that's what you call this is a grommet. <laughs> that's what I'm calling it. Um, when I put that in there, I realized I was covering up most of the word life. So I just stamped it again and just basically um, layered on top, distressed it. It's a little tiny. I've got nails. And so to put that on there was kind of fun, not so fun. Um, but anyways, it basically highlights the word. So just one life. Okay. And I covered up my little, my little mistake. And then here's one part of the let book. It, you know, I had this image here. I basically um, altered that as far as size. And then I made some more journal cards right here. Um, some more journal cards. I believe this was one of the spreads. And so I basically printed it, cut it in half and just made journal cards out of it. And then I used her tabs. And then this one, I enlarged it and took half of it. So I love how those turned out. And then I thought this was kind of funny. You know, if you can't kind of make fun of what's going on just slightly, just to kind of um, ease um, the mood, what do you do? So I put on here, sometimes I wonder if all of this is happening because I didn't forward that email to 10 people. And what I'm referring to is the whole pandemic. So everybody's experience in it. And so I thought I'd put that on there because I thought it was funny. I, I found a meme and then I decided to just put the quote on there and I use Canva to do that. So I can't believe I've never used Canva before this whole um, lap folder, lap book folder. Okay, and then here I, again, um, clustered some broken jewelry and put one of her round digis on here. Again, I love her. Um, I think I love her so much because um, she kind of reminds me of my hair <laughs> right now, kind of the color. 
and um, yeah I just did a cluster this is a paper clip and so I can move this around um, I just wanted to create it I not sure if it's gonna stay there or not you know once I start doing my journaling and seeing what's going in here or if I need to add additional elements I'll, I'll figure out where her permanent place is going to be but right now she's gonna be there okay and then again my printer was having issues and it wasn't printing the full page so rather than get rid of this beautiful tag I just took it for what it's worth just print it on the edge I just used it and used it as a tuck I did little staples through here to keep it and then here's some more of the the digi elements that are in there again you can see the printer issues I did that on purpose everybody just so you know <laughs> and then some scraps didn't want to waste it and this is the only sewing that I have going on here I might go back through here and do some more sewing on the journal cards I haven't decided I think it's just depending on what I'm going to write on it and then I might go do some more sewing but I didn't want to hold off on putting this out there um, just because I was on the fence on what I wanted to do but I did some, do some sewing I just made two pockets and this again is one of the ones that I enlarged and put it on Canva and cut it so I just love this I love this whole um, blizzardy blizzard blizzardly effect um, so yeah I did that and then it had some file folders in there so I utilized those and made mini journals yep beautiful can I not say can I just say again that I love this kit Lorna <laughs> and then just use some coffee um, dyed paper and just move that to the side and then again, basically the same thing, but I'm going to open it up just so you can see this file folder. I keep looking to make sure I'm filming. Okay, flip to the next page. These are the last two pages. Um, I was working on a project for Christmas as a gift, and I realize it's cut right there, so I'll have to fix that. But anyways, I didn't want this to go to waste, and so I decided to go ahead and tie this in. And I'll probably put a picture in there. How cool would that be? And just use it as a flip. All right. And so here's a pocket. And I made some gigantic journal cards. Again, nothing. And this one, you can't really tell. Um, again, I'm not going to zoom in only because the last time I did that, I wasn't recording. So um, I basically scrunched up the paper because of the icy effect I love the texture just feeling it but um, I scrunched it up and then distressed it a little bit let's see if I can get this in there in the camera a little bit so you can kind of see the ridges I'm not sure if you can yeah I don't think it's gonna work um, so anyways I might sprinkle it with some um, fine prisma glitter I haven't decided it probably really doesn't need it but again I love her I, I call her the ice princess and so um, I have that and I used another paper clip just to kind of hold that in place and this one the journal cards were kind of flopping around a little bit and so I needed to do something because it was just an, it was just tucked into this um, tuck and so corner tuck and so what I decided to do is uh, rip this up and make a pocket here's a piece of this and what I did, um, and the reason why I was having a hard time with it is because I didn't want to cover this up. This was beautiful, this snowflake paper. I think there was like two background papers in there, and I absolutely loved it. And so they make great backing on the two-sided journal um, pages. Anyways, um, I didn't want to cover it up, but I thought, you know what, I'm going to. There's another background page. This was kind of a gray, and I just did it on vanilla paper. And this strip here, in order to give it the, the tuck look... I basically had, I think this was probably three inches wide, and I just tucked it on each side. I just folded it on each side so that way you can get that edge. And, um, you know, because I wanted it to be folded over. And then I sprinkled, I used my ATG gun and I just put tape on it, just kept striping it, stripping it, or striping it. I don't know. I just kept doing a layer and a layer and a layer till it was all tacky. And then I added my. Um, I call it glitter it's probably more confetti but I love this stuff and it goes a long ways and I'm glad that I still have plenty of it because I don't know where I'm gonna get this again but I absolutely love it and so in order to keep it from doing fallout I basically mod podged it 
and I just love this effect because it's kind of not uniform you know it kind of sticks up right here you see this it kind of sticks up I just love that but it's not gonna fall over everything it's it's in place see right here it's in place it's not moving and I just love it because it kind of just reminds me of snow so and then with that I have these gigantua journal cards okay I just love the raven I think it's a raven right <laughs> um, so I have these gigantua journal cards tucked in here um, so I could put all sorts of information on there my thoughts um, you know I kind of want to go through there and do highlights of the year and just kind of my thoughts of it um, second year pandemic you know I know I have plenty to say so I just need to get it all out and then I think it'll be fun just to to review it you know just pull it and just kind of go through life um, so it basically will be the diary right and then just a fun way to present it with these digi with this digi kit and I don't know what the etiquette is with digi kits and being on design team or any of that so I kept with just Lorna's kit didn't really need any added um, elements or needed any added kits I mean everything that she had she had in here was awesome and then what I didn't you know I could always pull from my um, embellishment stash and accentuate it the way I needed to so that was pretty cool just to be able to shop my stash and incorporate it and I, I know I'm gonna go in there and I'm gonna do that some more like I said I just want to be able to put my journaling in here and just see where I go from there and I really don't want to make this super thick because I really want to have um, I forgot to tell you added a charm there I really wanted to add um, I really want to keep it thin I don't want to keep it too thick because I want to put more in that magazine um, container so that's it. I will put Lorna's information um, in the bottom so you can go check out all of her kits, especially this one. This one's beautiful. And I wanted to make sure I got this out there because, you know, we're still going through our winter seasons. And so um, you might want to do something with it like today. So um, that's it. I think I've covered everything. Um, hopefully this recorded. I hope. Um, I don't know if I have any more um, talk in me tonight. So it is 9.17 p.m. Um, one glass of wine later, <laughs> um, I'm trying to fit this in with work and hopefully if this all goes well, um, my, I think I said in the beginning, I, maybe I didn't, I'm doing one little word and I've been trying to do it for the last three years and haven't been successful through the year and I'm, I'm bound and determined to do it. And my one little word, and the reason why I am is because my one little word is create. And so that's what I'm trying to do. You know, I, I think this is a great start of the year. I want to, I want to be able to create time to create, create time for self care, create time to just do some of the things that are very therapeutic for me. And number one, it's being in my craft room. So anyways, um, if you have any questions regarding this kit, um, drop it down in the comments below. Um, and yeah, I hope to see you guys more. Or I hope just, I hope you see me more this year on YouTube. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye.